I would like to start off by saying I do not own the original versions of these characters you are about to see, or have seen. By that I mean, the characters that you are going to see are all fan-made versions. Like in the background, you see Guka? Yeah, he's the fan-made version of Goku, for obvious reasons. To people who own Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, and also Dragon Ball Super, there's also Dragon Ball Z Kai, but that is in the description. The credit goes out to you. Also, some other credit goes out to the channel link down below for drawing some of these drawings. Check out his channel, there's a link down below, and also I put what drawings this particular person slash YouTuber has done, so, so you, can, you can give spe uh, specific credit. Now, to the episode. Last time on paper, DBZ. The main group went to the Tower of Power that just appeared in front of them. On the eighth floor, I counted, they spotted something in that particular window. They spotted the main nine. So you counted nine. Now, on episode 17. Man, we're. We're getting fur into the series because I thought we were going to stop at episode 20, but nope, 17, no signs of stopping. And enough fourth wall breaking. The main three are existing in the, in the office now because they went up to the Tower of Power. And they found Anime Profag, U-Tub, Thick Leg Dog, Retargo Neko, which I actually looked up as Japanese for cat. Some of you probably already knew that. I just had to put it in there, you know, for a lot of these reasons. Get some edumacation in there. Mr. Boombustic. Hard covered face. You can already see where that one is. Catogasm. And just for, to remind you all. He's the second in command, and now the one you all fear, the leader, Mr. Hat. He threw out just some little henchmen, you know, like the mini guys, you know, like in Bleach, how they had like the Espada or some shit, it was like a 0 through 9 rating. Yeah, th those th that was them, except there was no 10th guy. And then these all like the numbers past 10. So yeah, you got Shadow Man, Almond Kirby, and Sexiest Eggplant. Just don't look at the Sexiest Eggplant. That was a mistake. Same with Almond Kirby. I don't know what I did, but I gave them feet instead of little nubs. There's also a weird-ass Magic Crab thing and Magic Squirrel thing. Piccolo, or Pickle-O, as it's now called. Or as I've been calling him, because this is my series. Grabbed a sword made of possible wood. That's how strong he is. And killed them. Both the first wave and the second wave. He finally did something in the series. Besides uh, assistance, he actually killed some of them. He leveled up because that was enough experience. Killing five enemies tends to do that. <clears throat> but Piccolo tried to learn something. But what does he learn? Something something important. Oh my. He learns. He learns. He learns. Whatever's on the next episode of Paper DBC. I got y'all bitches with that cliffhanger. Just like they do in the real series. See you all. In the next videos that I upload, goodbye.